Ruth and Randy Rhodey signing in. It's just something, a little something for you to play with. A little more than a theme song that's written by a great country artist, uh, Waylon Jenkins. I've been trying to tweak it a little bit and make it sound a little bit better here and there. And I think I'm at the pinnacle of what I can do with it, so as soon as I finish this, <laughs> and I'm done talking about it, I'll play it for you. It's a pretty cool one. Um, so just think theme songs and uh, what Waylon Jenkins did shoot theme, sh the theme songs for popular shows when I was a kid. So that'll give you a clue until I stop playing. Uh, this one is one of two that were made about moonshiners. Uh, there were so many shows when I was a kid about moonshiners. And they all had awesome cars. And they never got in trouble. They did, but they didn't. You know, it just kind of made you think that they were training us to be moonshiners. <laughs> you had Smokey and the Bandit. You had Dukes of Hazzard. You had other shows that were, like, not so popular. And they were, like, just these guys. And they all had rad cars, be it whatever it was. Some, like, had Dukes of Hazzard had the General Lee. Watch that every Sunday, and I wanted to like jump everything with as soon as I could drive. I was like, I want to do that, I want to do that. And then, you know, you realize, well, hey, you can't, <laughs> you know, I may have screwed up a, a Jeep or two trying to do stuff like that. But anyway, uh, and then you had, you know, Smokey and the Bandit, and you had the, uh, the black and gold uh, with the big bird on the top. I think it was a 70, 78 Firebird. Or maybe, I'm sorry, Trans Am. Uh, another fast car. Um, and then there was this other show, and I can't remember the name of it. And the guy was a bootlegger, and it's like a little bit older than the other two. And he always had like, uh, what was the Richard Petty car? The Super Bird. Uh, kind of looked like the Roadrunner. It was a. Uh, he had one of those, and then he would switch back and forth. He had, like, this mechanic guy, too, just like the Dukes of Hazzard guys. And then, you know, Smokey and the band had the truck driver guy who could repair things. And, you know, they all had somebody to help them out with their vehicles because they were always screwing them up, trying to get away from the cops to moonshine. So this is just, like, a teaser. It's not, like, a serious lesson or anything. You know, I'm just going to show you something really cool that I've been playing around with that I like. You guys can take it from there. And I'm going to start it off. Let me get hooked up here. And when I play through string, I don't know. It's always, there's only one song I really switch tuning for. I'm always. Uh,
I'll attempt this thing to it, but I don't know if I'm going to do a good job. This is just a teaser or something for you guys to play, but it's really simple to play. And, uh, oh, let me change that. Hang on a second. This whole thing is coming loose. I didn't realize. I haven't played since the last video, which I don't know. Four or five days ago was the first time I picked it up in like a couple weeks too with the holidays and everything going on. We just passed Halloween and Thanksgiving and now we're on to Christmas. We are in December here. And little Rody. And that's why my call sign good Rody. So anyway, let me try to sing with it. And notice I go like this. So top string, bottom string, middle string, alternate pick. And then what I do, I hand mute to stop the ring. If you saw me playing. So watch. By putting those fingers down flat, no pressure. Just stops that sustain. You want those clean notes. All right, so that's how I started out. And then I'm going to show you the chords in a minute. I'm going to attempt to, to sing with it. I haven't perfected it yet. I'll come back. I do that sometimes. I'll show you guys what I got and then I'll come back and I'll fix it. So I haven't showed this one yet. and been holding on to it for a while. But I think it's a cool teaser just to, to show you something. So, okay, go back to what I was showing you. These are all opens. Top. Bottom, middle. Anywhere, you can do it wherever you're comfortable playing. I keep hitting the other string by accident, sorry. string twice and then second string on the second fret pull off and then third fret on the top string oh no am I right wait no no oh okay I'm 
I'm sorry. After that pull off on the second fret, it goes right up to the top mm -hmm. string open, so. You can do it there too. Hit it twice. Pull off. Top string open. Go back down to your first string and you do the same thing. Come over to your fifth on the top string. And then a slide from your third your fifth and back and open. And go on your chords. So let me just start that first part again and we'll get into the chords. second and first string there. Hit the top one there in the middle and then down stroke. And that's what you get. So you're going from the second. And that's the first part of your chord, so let's do this again. Sixth to seven, sorry. We're on the eighth now. From your second to your eighth. So. forth a couple times. time I know this video is incredibly long now but so you can just kind of see what I'm doing and, you know, 
because we're good old boys and we can do it that way. Big 15 minute long video already. <laughs> note at the top before you strum down on all those chords. Over here you're doing a push down, slide from third to second for one. And the rest is all open. You can palm or hand mute it, I hand mute it. down some people that just for me I'm a cigar artist I don't have enough room on a larger instrument I probably feel more comfortable there's a different way to play this on a larger instrument like a six string acoustic um, and sound a little bit different so that was it teaser so that's how I'm gonna list it. I'm gonna list it as a lesson. I didn't give you the second part because there's a chord there that's kind of uh, eluding me. We do something like uh, oh, or maybe in the blues. Yeah, just for that you know breaking the curves, flapping the hills part uh, which I don't have in this so maybe you can figure it out. Let me turn this off. Let me know what you think. So that's Waylon Jenkins, real country artist. Just like Johnny Cash, he did theme songs. Check out Johnny Cash's version of uh, I Am the General Lee. That was almost the Dukes of Hazzard's uh, new theme song when that came out. Um, they were debating, and that's just an awesome song. Awesome. And I might want to check that out and see if I can figure out how to play around in Cigar Box. But, all right. To all the bootleggers out there from Rhode Island, where we're very close to Massachusetts, and the Kennedys lived in Rhode Island and Connecticut and all around, all these nice fancy places like Newport and nice stables in Connecticut. The Kennedys, they're still around, they're still in politics, and guess what? They made their fortune from moonshining, yes. Yes, indeed. That's how they were able to get educations and get into politics. So, don't knock it till you try it. I'm going to make some Portuguese fire water later. Red Roadie signing out. Tell me what you think. This is just a teaser. I'm listening in that way, okay? Not a lesson, but you know, hopefully you get the basics of the song and you go further. And I want to see if you do. All right, I really want to see other people's videos. I really do. And why aren't you guys subscribing? You're hitting likes. You're, hand, you're handing me comments. You, you know, you're sending things on the email, which I haven't checked in forever. But subscribe. I want you to see all the cool stuff I come up with. A 
lot of it is really awesome. Some stuff, I'm the only guy who ever made a song on the Cigar Box floor. So you really want to check me out because if you like some of this music, you know, anyway, enough. Red Roadie, signing out. Okay. You guys, take it easy. I will see you later.